Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ, and today I wanna to talk to you about something that is extremely important when it comes to bass fishing. This may be one of the most important tips, and it will help you if you are a pond fisherman, a bank fisherman, a, a seasoned vet at bass fishing. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. This video is brought to you by the Bass Hat, this hat that I'm wearing right now. It comes with a really unique bourbon barrel wood patch on the top. If you guys wanna help support the channel, click that link below in the description description, pick up a bass hat, and it'll continue to help me to bring you videos like this. So let's talk about this particular tip. And before I really talk about it, I just want you guys to know that this is something that's pretty simple. It's something that you can apply no matter what type of fisherman you are, no matter where you fish in the country, this is something that will help you. But I think a lot of guys just simply don't always think about it, or they don't focus on it when they're out there on the water. I'm down here on Table Rock Lake in Missouri and there's a lot of docks here. So I've been skipping a jig. I just got done fishing a section of boat docks and it looked really, really good. It had bait fish on it. There was bluegill on it. I thought there's no way that I'm not gonna get bit from a bass. I went through this section of boat docks and, and no bites, no bites at all, pretty depressing. Long story short, I get ready to move to a different area. I had looked at a map. I had saw some docks in another area that I wanted to fish. So as I'm going to this other area, I basically see something out of the corner of my eye. I see a dock that's basically all by itself. I decide, you know what, let's go ahead and fish that real quick. And this is what happened. That is exactly, that is exactly why I picked that dock. Woo! Dang, that sucker was completely frayed up my line, but honestly, this is one of the most important tips when it comes to bass fishing. And it's exactly why I caught this bass right here. Beautiful looking small mouth. Look at that thing. Gosh, they're so pretty. I bet there's more in there. Come on that little jig. It's really about the location. It's really about the location of where I caught this fish. So let's talk a little bit more about that. So as you can see, I pulled up to that dock and I think it was either the first or second skip up underneath that dock. I skipped it way up under there and I caught a fish and it was a nice little small mouth. And guys, this, this is the key. This is the tip that I'm, that I'm trying to talk to you about. And that is locate isolated cover. What you wanna do when it comes to fishing, wh wherever you are in the country, is really concentrate some of your time on fishing isolated cover. There's docks that literally surround a, a large portion of the lake that I'm fishing. And I fished several sections where it's just dock after dock after dock. But that section of the lake over there didn't have any docks except for that one single dock. It was isolated. It was all by itself. Now isolated is exactly what it implies. This could be a boat dock that's all by itself, or this could could be a stump that's on a flat that's all by itself. Isolated cover can come in a lot of different forms, but the thing is, if you find this isolated cover, it is a high percentage area to catch a bath. You know, and this, this happens to me, it seems like no matter where I go across the country, this, this same type of thing where you find this isolated cover. You know, I was fishing on Lake Toho down in Florida during a Bassmaster Open a couple of years ago, and I had been fishing a large hydrilla grass line, large, extended, very large. During practice, I had actually found an isolated patch of cover and I got one bite there during practice and I decided to fish it during the tournament and this is what happened. Nice 
So here I was fishing all kinds of grass lines and I had caught some fish, but then I pull out to that, that small isolated patch and I cast up there and I catch one that was close to five pounds. It was, it was a big fish for that tournament. I think that was actually the biggest fish I weighed in during that tournament. Isolation, isolation not only can help you to catch fish, but I think a lot of times isolation is what produces some really big fish. This is where you tend to find some of the biggest fish in your lake is on those isolated pieces of cover now cover is one thing right that's a that's a dock that's a grass patch that's a stump but isolated can also come in the form of structure so if you guys are out there and you're and you're a structure fisherman you like to fish offshore this is the same thing that can happen for instance you might be fishing a large flat maybe you fish up north you're fishing a large flat and it's a rock flat and maybe it's seven eight nine foot deep but somewhere on this flat there is a section where it's only about five foot deep it's a little bit of a rise in the bottom it's an isolated hump in the middle of that flat that is typically where that bass is going to be isolated cover isolated structure that is a huge tip that if you really apply it to your pond fishing to your bass fishing in general you're going to be able to go out there and catch a lot more fish and if you guys want to know more about bass fishing i actually made a video that i titled 90 percent of bass fishing in 15 minutes it goes through a lot in a short period of time you can click on that video link right here please like this video if you enjoyed it comment below and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video